What's up, some family? It's your girl C. Yes, I know it's been a minute since your boy and girl been on here on the YouTube land. But, um, you know, life just happens and it's been a lot with um, trying to move, trying, well, not trying, we moved. But, like I told you guys before, we are in the one bedroom until we get to early July to get into our two bedroom. So it's just been a lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of, and um, I just, come on, get in there now. I just ain't had time, chat. But it's okay, you know, today, uh, I figured I'd give you guys a bonnet talk today. Um, You know, excuse me while I get myself situated, honey. We're going to run to cookout to get some uh, lunch. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let me roll these windows up. I was trying to get out the caucus list in. I don't know how, how what's it? It said 92 degree up in here. 92. Jesus. 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 Oh, it's so god they gonna hide on me no sense. But I'ma um turn this down so, so y'all can hear me. I don't want it to be where you can't. But yeah, I figured, you know what, I'm going to give my people a little bonnet talk, you know, and this is mainly for my sisters. Um, you know, and maybe some of my guys, you know, y'all could probably relate to, but I was like, you know what, let me talk to my girls. And what I want to talk about is knowing your worth and your confidence. Building your confidence and knowing your worth. So, I'm going to try to keep this short. I don't want to be too long because you know I don't want to take y'all away from what y'all got going on today honey but you know I was having a conversation with Deej the other day and I was going over things in my mind I was like wow man like I truly like lost myself like I, I didn't um take care of me I lost my worth well I guess you could say in my mind I lost my worth, you know? Come on now, I know you see me coming. God! Oh, sorry. Oh, they ain't no better than Virginia up here. But whatever, whatever. Um, you know, I, in better terms, like, let myself go so many different times in my life, I didn't even realize it. And here I am, where I'm just like, dang, you know, I want to lose weight, I want to get myself together. Especially because it's hot and who got time to be in, out here in 90 degree and up weather be. Like, no offense, you know, I'm not trying to say nothing bad about, you know, us plushy people. But baby, it's hot. You know, and I don't like clothes. I don't, I don't like clothes all up on me. You know, I, I ain't the type of person that's going to hide on my body. I just don't like it. So, you know, I was just like, dang, like, what happened? Like, it's like I just lost myself and I had to come to terms like, okay, Sierra, you got to uh, rebuild here. You got to get it back together. You have to find Sierra again. Like, it is so sad because I haven't really let many people down in my life. But the one person I let down often is Sierra. Like, I have let her just, just, got, just push her to the wayside for other people for different relationships you know always dimming her shine and her light for other people you know always trying to be captain captain save them and save other folks in situations and throughout the years just let her go now don't get me wrong like i love sierra true enough obviously but you know there's things that you have to come to the conclusion of it's like do you like do you like sierra you can love somebody all day. Do you like them? Because that's supposed to be your family that you love, but you just don't like them people. Just saying. Just saying. Do you like yourself? If you like yourself, why you let yourself go like this? You know? And so, I'm going to work on me. Absolutely. And I know I've been saying that a lot this year about, you know, us working on ourselves and getting our bodies together and, you know, our mental together and stuff, you know, and for me, it's a lot. It's a lot in one. Because I've let Sierra just just go by the wayside for so long. Like, it's freaking sad and I hate that I've done that to her. 
And yes, I gotta talk third person because it makes me feel better when I do it when I'm talking about myself. Because when I think about what I've done to myself, it makes me sad. Because this isn't this mm -mm, this ain't how it's supposed to be. It's not, you know. But it's okay. At least I've come to the realization that things need to change and I need to change for the better. And no matter what happens in life, I'm going to do that. I, I have to do that. I have to work on Sierra. Um, you know, I've done a lot of journaling. Um, I have been journaling in the last few months mainly because I left my journal in Virginia. <laughs> so, I haven't really been doing that, but you know, once I get my stuff here, I absolutely will be. But um, I think journaling is definitely a good thing to reflect on. It's kind of like just puts a mirror to your face and be like, hey, look at you. What you doing? Fix this, you know? Um, talking positive to yourself? Absolutely. I have come to the conclusion since I have moved here that I truly talk so negative to myself. I can encourage anybody out here. But when it comes to me, man, oh my word. Like, I have been so bad to Sierra. What the world, man? Like, I literally, like, like my first day, like, in my, like, not first day on the job, but, like, officially in the office because, you know, security reasons. I ain't trying to take out into my office and all that type of stuff, whatever. But I was in the bathroom washing my hands and I was, like, looking around and I was like, man. Is this really for me? Can I really do this job? Can I really succeed? Because, you know, I came from such a background where it was job security. It was like, you know, you couldn't knock Sierra. Sierra knew her stuff. You know what I'm saying? She knew her stuff. But going to a place that's like, I don't know anything. And someone has to train me. And I have to learn all these policies. Don't get me wrong. The job is a lot easier than I thought. It's just knowing the rules and the campaigns and the policies and doing so. That has been, whoop, whoop, chat. Listen, this training process is something else, honey, okay? But, like, you know, I really started second guessing myself and was like, can I do this? Am I sure this is for me? Did I make the right decision? You know, I left all my security um, in Virginia. Am I, well, this is right? Should I have done this? And I had to tell myself, sis, what you worried about? Like, you're just as great as everybody else that's here. You're just as amazing as everybody else that's here. Like, what you worried for? You got this. You've been doing, like, like self-taught work for 10 out of the 14 years <laughs> at your old job. Self-taught. These folks here are training you. And you worried about what? Girl, get out of here. Like, I'm not really not talking to myself like that. And I really had to boost, like, boost myself up, man. I, I just didn't know how, like, downplayed that I've made myself. How much I've just, just pushed the air to the side. And I hate that. I hate that I tolerated so much mess I didn't need to tolerate in the last 14 years. Granted, you know, it builds character or whatever. That's what people say. It builds character, chabai. Um, <laughs> like, I, I know and I understand that, but it's like, it makes me sad to think of the things I tolerated. The things that, you know, I kept my mouth shut about these last few years at my old job. You know, don't get me wrong. I've had some great people there um, throughout the years and some people that, you know, I hated to have to leave because they were just so awesome, but... I dealt with a lot of stuff that shouldn't have been dealt with. And I, I get so sad. I'm like, dang, Sierra. You subject yourself like that for what? A paycheck? No happiness. You try to build happiness and create happiness. Like, it's sad. Like, right now, I am truly happy. Like, I'm happy right now. You know what I mean? Like, am I my happiest? No. Because I want my stuff. <laughs> I want my bed. I want my couch. I want all my stuff in my house. But I'm happy in the state of mind that I'm in. You know. And another thing I want to work on this year. Um, is confidence. Um, I mean it's come to the point where. You know Memorial Day just passed. And they had all these clothing sales and stuff. You know you know how your girl do. She goes and buys stuff. But 
I have bought clothes that is me, but people have never seen that side of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to get girly and cutesy and all that type of stuff too. You know what I mean? But because of the body that I've been in and have been abusing for the last who knows how many years with food and just running herself into the ground, um, the clothes that I would wear, it's like, girl, why you putting that on? Who, who, where you going? But I came to the conclusion, bad, bad, you going to get this. You going to get these rolls. You going to get this double chin. You going to get these chunky thighs and their big old titty bitties. You going to get them. I'm sick and tired of having to dim my light and dim my shine because of the fear of what somebody else going to say about Sierra. Goodbye. I can't be worried about that. I really don't give two craps. I don't. If you see me out here with a crop top on my dog on business, I'm just out here being Winnie the Pooh. Okay? Pooh Bear and everybody and his friends too, they can join, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sick of it. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that I can wear and I'm like, okay, I can wear that, but I'm like, but what if somebody sees me and they be like, oh my God, what is she wearing? And I'm like, well, who is somebody? Who are the people? Child. Build your confidence back up. Okay, boo. Right now, I'm on a hair journey. I know. I know. And honestly, it's the worst because that's when your hair is in those awkward stages. And you know, I'm natural. So, I got this dog on the Django puff of hair on my head. Oh, God. I mean, it looked like I walked straight off the dog on slave ship sometimes. It's just bad. But... I'm working on embracing my hair and embracing, you know, me as a person. Like, you have to embrace and like and love you. And so, I'm trying to exude the confidence that I know I have. I have always been a baddie. <laughs> I've always been a baddie. You know, big girl, but she a baddie, okay? And, like, I just haven't embraced her. And it's sad because I haven't embraced her in so long. It feels kind of like out of my element to like do something like cutesy for me. It does. It feels weird. But I'm like, F that. I'm finna do me, honey. I'm about to do me. About to be some changes. I'm about to glow the heck up. Like for real. Like it's about to be like, oh dang, that's yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm about to be because I gotta get back to me. I gotta get back to me. And I hope that y'all that's listening to this like y'all give it to y'all i know i'm kind of bouncing around everywhere i can't help that when i start talking baby i start talking okay um but i'm really hoping that you know just like i said i'm trying to get back to me that y'all will get back to y'all and that y'all will start to refocus and you know start to love and like yourself not just love yourself sis love and like look at you, i'm trying to go ahead and cook out you i want me a barbecue sandwich and what else I want? Mmm. Try on the lunch from over here. But we finna find out. We're about to get it. Let, let's, let's look and see what he got in there. I don't, I'm not really. I don't know. But I don't want something good. Mmm. Number check. It's the people here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Okay, please. Yes. Can I please get. A regular barbecue tray and for my two sides can it be the Cajun fries and a Cajun chicken wrap and my beverage can it be the sweet tea, yeah, the sweet tea. yes sir hey, what else get me today? and one regular barbecue sandwich just by itself um, do y'all have a cheese bite today? Say cheese bite? Yeah. yeah. Yep, that's it. Did you want to order a cheese bite? Yes. Alright, it's going to be at like 15, 12, uh, 15, 12, 12, 12, 12. Alright. Yeah, I had to buy some stuff. You took all left until no car is ahead. And for a seat. I don't know. You know, these, these little cookouts, the way they have these things out here, they be different. But anyway, sorry for a little interlude. Y'all finna have another interlude when I uh, go up and pay. I'm gonna call that chair.
vehicle, vehicle. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here. I want to talk to you guys. I just wanted to just chit chat, say yay, 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 hey, hey, hey. We still here, we still roll, we still rocking. It's just that it's been a lot. Um, oh, nah. The hell he gonna do? Oh. Hmm. Hold on now. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you too. Okay, now let me roll out. I like cookout. I I do. I like me some cookout now. Especially because them barbecue sandwiches be hitting, honey. If you haven't had one, try, try them, okay? Try them things. I usually get the uh, regular barbecue sandwich with coleslaw and Texas pea. Oh, chef's kisses. Ah, oh, so good. But um, yeah, I just I just really want you guys to just refocus on you know what is important, which is yourself. <laughs> yourself, sis. Yourself, bro. Refocus on you, okay? A lot of times we let ourselves go. We come with these huge like predictions or uh, what they call resolutions. You know what I'm saying? When the year comes, we're like, man, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this, or whatever, you know, for New Year's resolutions and stuff, and then we forget, like, six months down the line, which is right now, we're in June, six months down the line, you done neglected all the things you said you was going to do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that, though. Now, what I did last year, I'm, I'm going to let y'all know, a little secret, a little TikTok, little thing, you know, I had got on TikTok one day. And I saw that um, there was a person that did a six months challenge. And in the six months challenge, they put their short term goals, their long term goals for the six months. They put down um, uh, non negotiables like, you know, loving on yourself and, you know, just stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep pushing, stuff like that. <clears throat> and so, I decided I'm going to do one too. This was back in November, y'all. Can y'all believe I did that doggone challenge? And sure enough, when my six months was up, which was May, I had hit every single thing I said I was going to hit except for the weight loss. Bruh. Which we going to be working on, okay? Because all this, you'll see all this. Ooh. 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 Sis. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot going on. A whole oh, oh, lot of that. But um, I had hit all those goals. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so doggone proud of me. Because let's listen at the end of the day. It's, it's that easy. And it is to try to hit certain goals you want to hit. In the midst of completely uprooting your life. It's not easy. But I was hitting them things. I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of Deej. I'm just, uh, we are a great couple. We are power cup of my eyes. I don't care. Jay and Beyonce ain't got nothing on this. I don't care. I don't care. Say what you want to say. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, yeah, mama. Whatever. But, you know, I am so proud of how far we've come. But I know there's some things I need to work on. I know there's some things I can do that could be better for not just myself, but for us as a couple. And so I'm going to do um, I'm going to do another six month challenge basically the same as before if y'all want to know um the breakdown and stuff or whatever um uh, i can put the tiktok you know maybe i'll just add a tiktok video at the end of this video so y'all can see what i'm talking about um it's not very long it's like duh because you know hey hey why would you do that why would you do that because you almost became lunch meat it is lunch break. You almost became lunch meat. The folks act like they don't have to drive. Oh, oh. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I'll put the video at the end of this. Maybe you guys can use that as a blueprint and just challenge yourself. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got this three months. 
just try something small and try to do something for a change for a better you. It's all about becoming a better you. And that's, you know, that's the main thing that should be a focus. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have went through a whole panini and it's still going on. And now they got the whole monkey paws, pox stuff. Ooh, that's so, so gross. Um, they got that going on now. I mean, come on. Work on <laughs> you because we've done suffered enough these last few years with all this mess and, you know, so many people losing their lives due to the the row row. I got talking cold because, you know, I ain't finna get caught up on Facebook. Oh, y'all finna catch me. Um, but, like, you know, so much has happened. Why not take out some time to love on you and refocus on you and, you know, get you back in gear. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I've been working on. And I hope that you guys work on that as well. Now, I done took up most of y'all lunch break. <laughs> and I got our lunch breaks now, sis. Before I had 30 minutes, I was trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing 30 minutes, but now I got an hour. And so, you know, I can keep yang, yang, yang until I get to the house, but I'm going to end it here. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, reflected on those that have uh, fought in many wars and battles and stuff like that for us to have the freedom that we have here in America. I really hope that you guys um, are just doing awesome, you know. I mean, shoot, leave us a comment and tell me how you doing, honey. You know, I like when y'all be talking to me, boo. I be like, babe, look, somebody talking. They talking to us. I like when y'all talk to me, honey, okay? Keep talking to me. Send me a, send me a little stop something. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see uh, in the future. You know, especially now with all this transition we got going on. Let me know what you want to see. Okay, you know, we're going to have some more bonnet talks and stuff. And hopefully more, I'll be more selective and, you know, to the point. Because <laughs> I be jumping from here to there everywhere. But whatever. We family. That's what we do. When we be in car rides, we just sit there and we talk to each other. Right? Right. Anywho. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing in this road. Because, listen, I'm driving around here with no GPS on. No GPS. I think I'm doing pretty darn good. Because I think I know where I'm at. But, um, we ain't trying to get lost. Hey, okay? Okay? Uh-uh. You stay right over there. You stay right. All right. All right. All right. Let me get off here so I know where the heck I'm going. What I'm doing. Because, uh, the people out here. And they just out here dangin', dangin' with their little cars. Okay? They just out here dang dang it. And I don't like that. I don't like none of that. Okay? I don't know what's wrong with these Charlotte dri Charlotte. Charlotte drivers. But y'all be out here dang dang it. And the unfortunate part is, my husband come with one of them drivers. And it makes me real nervous getting in the car now. Because he be out here flying. Okay? Good. Woo! He be out here flying like a bionic bunny or something. Like, what's going on? Take your time. We ain't got to do all that. We got all day. Well, not really, but we got time. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise we're going to get it together. I know that this summer just seems insane. And that we have been in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out of time. Sorry. Sorry, Maya Angelou. I'm so sorry. Um, Let me go, okay? I'm going to hold y'all guys later. Love you. Bye. I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dreams.